it's a beautiful day here in Melbourne winter is over so the spring has sprung as you can see guys the flowering is everywhere beautiful flowers everywhere bees and insects are all active every day and the weather is not four seasons this day but it's cloudy a little bit and the flowers are so gorgeous this is my reliable car this is a 20 years old Land Cruiser Prado I'm going to replace the front brakes and rotors and get it ready for the next season of this spring camping so let's do it oh it's so heavy because it has a steel wheel so once you remove the tire you would see this wire this is a hardened wire the purpose of this wire is to push out your pads away of this um, router shouldn't be having a resistance all the time to remove this one here is just pop this outside on both sides of your pads there you go see this thing is pushing out this wire also helps to eliminate noise and vibration this is the lock for your pin so we have to undo this lock it has a lock here there you go it has two pins that guides the brake pads so uh, we have to remove this one here as well easy boop dropped never lost this thing because nothing will hold on your pin this Land Cruiser has four pistons on the front on each side and uh, we're going to catch the fluid this is your bleeder we have to crack this there you go next step is we have to wind back the pistons so we can insert the new brake pads actually this is for a uh, clip remover but this is a better one to do uh, to to use all right guys there you go now after this we have to lock the bleeder valve all right so air would not pass through inside would not come inside of these pistons now next thing is we have to remove the pads so easy guys look at this worth it mm, almost i would say three millimeters but this is the right time to replace because we are having a uh, long drive next two weeks from now so might as well do it earlier as possible as you can see guys this pipe is solid from your caliper goes to the bracket and this side here is the flexi side there is no shortcut so we have to undo the abs harness as well guys never ever break this wire otherwise your abs light will uh, comes on i am now undoing this bracket there you go so we have to keep aside the bolt make sure it is not gonna be lost now next thing we have to do is to undo the whole caliper guys you would see this bolt this 17 mil and on this one on top side it has two 17 mil those bolts are holding this caliper so we have to undo it you don't have to hurt yourself and you don't have to break something you can use hammer to knock this Oh. that's how you do it and then easy easy now it's loose we do the other side as well the bottom side so this is it the bottom side knock this out where are you ratchet this is what i'm saying a ratchet flexi 17 mil easy life if you have this make sure this thing never drop okay so you hold here you hold your one hand here and the other one is loosing the bolt okay it's out there you go there you go oops you reckon you can do it yourself there you go it's safe it's not gonna fall secure 
Next is the rotor. If you have a hammer, a uh, kind of rubber hammer at home, that will do. You have to knock this out. It's stuck. That is the reason. It's been here for a while. There you go. That's how we do it. We knock it off using hammer, rubber hammer. There it is. It's been, I think this is a genuine one still. See? This is a bad condition already. That is the reason. I am having a uh, vibration on my, on my brake pedal. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. This old ones has a lip and the thickness of this already, you know, not standard compared to this brand new one. This is a uh, non-genuine aftermarket rotors doesn't matter still all the same the pads that i'm gonna be using now is a brand new genuine toyota this one will last for i would say five to six years depending on how i use it hub. let's clean the hub a little bit that's it and then the rotor now to hold this thing we have to put one wheel nut so it doesn't move it holds properly that's what we need and now is the time to put this back on perfect Next step is the connections of this bracket and the ABS wiring. So guys, if you look at the pads, this is the new one. Two of these has this thing. As you can see, this one here, this is the old one. It's nearly close to rub onto the rotor. When your pads are really low, it, this thing will rub onto your rotor. So this is, the, this is the purpose of this. Make sure this should be in the inner side. Put in the inner side of your brakes. On both sides should be in the inner. Tap a bit. There we go. Perfect. Fits properly. Now this time is the pin in this spreader. Let's call this a spreader. To spread the brake pads. So let's put this first and then Am I this right? Is this right or something? That way. And then boom. Inside. And then the lock. Let's put the lock in here. Perfect. And then this one here goes there. There's a hole here on the pads and this one here should go right there. Perfect. The top side of the dial, guys. There you go. You can turn this a little bit. There you go. And then the pin. The lock. Perfect. So guys, we are done on this side. Perfect. We've done everything, guys. Safety nest is very important. So my daughter is up there on the driver's side and we have to bleed the system, all right? Even just one crack to be able to make sure that there is no air in the system. So I hook this, my collect bottle or sucker, and then I have here my 10 mil to crack the bleeder valve. Venice, yeah. pump it up, all right? That's it, up one more. Release, pump it up. That's it. I didn't feel that there's an air in the system. So we are just, you know, making sure that everything is fine. Because uh, as I have said, safety is the best important policy, safety. So we do this side as well. Pump it up. Perfect, one more. 
press perfect there is no air in the system don't forget to check your reservoir as well actually the reservoir is still in the right in, right level it's in the maximum so uh, i don't need to replace this this is new i have just done this all right guys we are done thanks for watching my videos and see you next time